Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. In this video I will cover the following news. Intel officially reveals 11th gen desktop CPUs. Intel's DG2 desktop gaming graphics card benchmark leaked. DDR5 memory tested versus DDR4. And more Nvidia graphics card models are confirmed. Chinese memory manufacturer demonstrated some DDR5 RAM benchmarks. Compared to DDR4, this particular set of DDR5 is over 30% faster in read and write, 12% in copy, and it was over two times better in the Master Lu benchmark. We should see DDR5 for consumers enter the market with the release of Intel's 12th gen CPUs closer to the end of this year. So, not long left to wait. It looks like DDR5 will be another worthy upgrade. Intel officially revealed their worst kept secret, which is the 11th gen Rocket Lake desktop processors. Flagship i9-11900K has 8 cores and 16 threads. At $539, it is more expensive than its more powerful 10-core 20-thread predecessor i9-10900K. I was shocked at Intel's decision to increase the i9 prices. However, things do get better when you look further down the stack. i7-11700K offers the same number of cores and slightly lower clock speeds. The price is $399. This CPU is well priced compared to 11900K, as it undercuts Ryzen 7 5800X by $50. The same trend continues with the 6-core 12-thread i5-11600K at $262 and 11400F at $157. All of those are priced competitively versus AMD. The i3 processors and below are not getting the 11th gen treatment. They are released as 10th gen refresh with slightly improved clock speeds. What are your thoughts on Intel's 11th gen prices? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, Intel i7-11800H mobile processor was spotted on Geekbench. So now we know for sure that it will have 8 cores, 16 threads, a base core clock of 2.3 GHz and a 4.6 GHz boost. In terms of performance, it landed between Ryzen 9 5900H and 5800H. So, it looks like AMD still holds the performance crown in the laptop space for now. Thanks to Geekbench, we can also confirm the existence of new NVIDIA mobile graphics cards. RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti. Both cards feature 4GB of GDDR6 memory and were tested with the core clock running at just above 1000 MHz. So there could be room for improvement. But for now, here are the benchmark results. RTX 3050 Ti demonstrated performance similar to RTX 2060 Max-Q. RTX 3050 is on the same level as GTX 1660 Ti Max-Q and Radeon RX 5600M. This is the last story of the day. Intel's long-awaited desktop gaming GPU, codenamed DG2, was spotted on Geekbench in a system with a 16-core, 24-thread Intel 12th Gen CPU. It sure looks like Intel is teasing us. Although benchmark results are underwhelming, it looks like the graphics card was not running anywhere near its full potential. But at least we had our first glimpse at its specs. This Intel GPU has 12GB of memory and 512 execution units. This spec is rumored to be Intel's top gaming graphics card. Hopefully we will find out more about this card soon. Hit that subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss it. It was I, Vadim, until next time.